Good morning. You know, I think every nation has the gay star queen of the nation, right? Like uh, Elton John, maybe, in England. Maybe it's Freddie Mercury, I don't know. Well, Freddie Mercury is gone. So I think it's Elton John, isn't it? Uh, maybe uh, Liberace in the United States. You know. We have one here in Sweden. There is no competition. Uh, he's the gay star queen of the nation. Yeah. His name is Jonas Gardell. And uh, everybody knows this guy. Yeah. It's quite popular, this guy. It's well deserved, really, because he's so funny, this guy. He's a comedian. Yeah. So he talked about, he wrote about what happened in Norway. You know, in uh, June, there was this Islamist who was uh, shooting gays and lesbians in Oslo, right? I think three people were killed. Yeah, I, I talked about this earlier. Right, so he talked about this. And this is what he said in this major newspaper. He says, of course, the vast majority of Muslims are not extremists but dissociate themselves from violence. But everyone has a responsibility. A responsibility for how the religion you belong to views homosexuals and transgender people. He said, it is far too rare if I have ever seen Muslim leaders in Scandinavia take that responsibility. All right. So, looks to me, that he wants a change. He wants uh, the average Muslim to accept the gays. And he wants the Imams to accept the gay community and the transgenders. Yeah? So what do you think? This is going to happen? The average Muslim, peaceful Muslim, will now accept the gays. Do you think this will happen? No, 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 I don't think so at all. No. But it shows me that maybe there is a realization among the gay people here in Sweden. Now they have the top gay, top gay queen star talking about it, that they are realizing what's going on with Islam and gays. Yeah? That it's not cultural. You know, some say this, yeah. Well, it's just cultural differences this thing, yeah. It's not. It's a, an Islam thing. Yeah, if you don't believe me, just study this stuff. Yeah. Read the scriptures. You will understand. Yeah. It's an Islam thing. Yeah. So, but you know, maybe now people understand what's going on here. Yeah. It's good. Now, I want to tell you about something else. Me and my girlfriend, last night, we were at the party. Uh, this is a local party, a lot of locals, and lots of people. And we just moved here, you know, three years ago. And, but most of these people, they know each other. And we were there. Uh, we were also there earlier, right? They had this party earlier, three years ago, and we were there. Yeah. And maybe you know me by now, you know, I want to do something at the party, yeah. So uh, I told my girlfriend, now I will, I will try to find out if there are any people who are awake here, locally. You know, this was my mission for the party, yeah. So we started talking to people and very, very soon I talked to this guy. Uh, this guy is originally from the Netherlands. He's been living here in Sweden for a long, long time. But uh, I asked him, what do you think what, about what's going on in the Netherlands with the farmers protesting, these big protests, right? And he started talking, yeah. And he got emotional, yes. He said he likes it, he likes the protests. And then he started talking. He started to lecture me about these things. He said, you know, they are just trying to grab hold of the land, you know, these globalists. 
he started talking about Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum and everything. Yeah, that was uh, me and my girlfriend. We just looked at each other. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, so this guy was totally awake, speaking loud, no problems. And he said, you know, media, they don't talk about this, of course not, because, you know, these globalists, they own all media, everything. He, told, he was lecturing me. And uh, I do what I usually do, I just keep asking questions, you see. I wanted to know more, yeah. So it was fantastic, yes. So, I recommend this. You know, ask questions. You will be surprised, maybe, you know. Me and my girlfriend, we were totally amazed by this. Yeah. All right. Be good.